God bless him and very nice. Marine spirits resemble sea creatures, although they're not, they're more darker. I guess some people would call them demons. We just know that they're not for the creator of this universe's side. When I saw a few of them like about a year ago when I was having a dream or whatever that I kept sensing that word pride, prideful, and then the word prideful resembled what, what manifested in front of me was like more like a, it was in a dream or a nightmare as you can say that. <coughs> it was a puffer fish that resembled pride because as it swells up and blows up it, rep it represents someone who is prideful in all their ways. And so, and all the other marine spirits that are actually just more demonic, evil, that they hate us and they hate you, they hate, all, they hate every human being, they all are spirits of something, it could be pride, ego, or something, and so, no different than the demons or the dark principalities on the land, even the principalities that live in the sea, known as marine spirits. It could be a dolphin, the shark, the puffer fish, whatever else. Um, our spirits, and they all represent, and marine kingdom is its own kingdom of darkness. It's its own principality. And so, marine spirits can also repre be represented as demons too. But they represent sea creatures as well because that's what marine spirit is. Spirit is. You think about the scripture when it talks about the beast with the seven horns coming out of the sea. Why do you think it's represented as coming out of the sea? Or like you see the, uh, the thing in the Pope, the Pope's crown or castle or whatever he wears and has a fish on it. And the fish was represented as, uh, I think it was called Dagon. Dagon was a, uh, a god back in the Roman Colosseum days, or the Roman Catholic, Roman. Uh, the time when everyone was worshiping their own gods and everything, Dagon was a fish. I believe who, who, that's the, that was the fish's name was Dagon, and Dagon basically, you can say Dagon goes into representing the kingdom of the marine spirits are in the one of like the gods in the marine kingdom where he would bring this god would bring the life more to um uh not just really like atheism but like um uh, trying to think of that word um The involvement of where man turned from, came from fish, and then eventually turned to ape and everything, saying that we all came from fish. And that would be like more of a spirit of Dagon, where they would say we came from fish, and then we, I guess, transmuted out, or we mutated out, and then eventually turned to monkey, and then we turned into a man, but we all came out of the sea, which is also... I don't even, even besides the point of believing in God, that I don't even see anything like that being possible. Um, evolution is what I was trying to find the word for evolution. Evolution, whatever you want to call it. So Dagon was, I would say Dagon is the one that represents, really represents one of the main spirits in the Marine Kingdom. But basically going back to what I was saying, I can see all these spirits dancing in front of me and they all represent their own type of spirit, pride, ego, whatever else. And it was just a reminder and like a newsflash that 
I think people are honestly seeing these spirits physically manifest even today, even coming out of the ocean. Because you see things now in different stories I've seen online of different humanoid things coming out of the ocean that no one can explain. And I think it's more like a humanoid shape-shifting thing. They're just evil spirits, demon, demonic, whatever you want to call them. Uh, principality, but <clears throat> anyway... just a reminder for me that all these spirits is just they represent the sea creatures because they are from the marine kingdom which is also just another big principality and Dagon is a part of it and so is Leviathan which is also represented to live and come out of the sea as well so God bless Amen Fire Nice Godspeed out.